Yeah, what I'm doing is, as you can see, that I'm using this bitumen paint. What I use on roofs, general purpose, waterproofing, and weather protection. And it's the business, it's very messy to put on, so hence I've got these gloves on. Um, this has had some welding done, but anyway, I was, I'm sealing the whole lot off, as you can see. Mask them brake pipes up and put that over there, and I'll probably give it another coat. And it is really a good weather seal, it's like the old under seal. Also, you can see underneath, I've been scraping back. Oh, see, it's a little bit corroded here and there. But I've been using a pry bar, one of these, just to scrape it on. I mean, there is a, a few little holes there, which I, I don't think it's any big deal, but I shall scrape back what I can, right with the pry bar. I don't know what sort of a lot was off already, but there is some sort of um, coating on there already. But as you can see, a lot of it has come off. So I'm just going over the fire bar, I'm in a wire brush, um, well, all over the vehicle. Any bits like that there, there, near the exhaust. Uh, that bit there, been scraping back. I'll go over the wire brush and I'll put bitumen, that bitumen paint over the lot. See there, look, all these bits. So you just need to get a pry bar, just scrape it back, and then I'll put that bitumen over, which I'll show you in a minute. Yeah, I've got a smaller pry bar now. As you can see, look, that's what I do. good anyway so I might take all of that off an actual fact probably will and then uh bitch them in over a lot but I've been taking see here release the cable from there any of them bits break that back and uh go from there just want to show you how easy it comes up this stuff like watch It ain't up, look, look at that. I don't know if it's lost its adhesion or what, but I'm going to take all that off. Because if it goes for an MOT and I just black them bits, he's going to look at all these bits. So if I black the whole lot, he can't look at nothing. It's all the same. But it's not on there very well, so I'm going to take it off put the bitumen all the way over the top. I say, um, I'm scraping it all over, look, using a scraper. I that. It comes off fairly easily. I've got a clean finish. I will, what I'm going to do is scrape them back, fire brush it, and then go over these rusty bits of anti corrosive paint and then bitch them in it. Right, what I'm doing, I'm going to black all this up with a bitumen paint. I've masked up the brake pipe the way along. Uh, any paper on the like suspension arms here, uh, that where the thing is there, the old. Uh, I'm going to replace the fuel filter so I'm not fussed. Uh, so I had welding here before, so 
So I'm going to black all that up with this bitumen the whole lot all round here, like I've done the other side. But I'm going to cover these bits up because obviously they're all good. Right. Old brush. I kept putting a bit of just motor oil on it to keep it overnight. Bitumen paint, roof paint, nice and thick. And then just go over everything. I might do two coats of this, but pay particular attention to around the arches, load it on heavy. But you're gonna have to cover everything up like I've done. Let's give you an example here, but it is really good stuff. You get a nice finish from it. Uh, I know there's a bit of rubber guard on there, but some of it isn't the same. Mine's had some welding done to it. Let's load it on there, like that. And that go off solid afterwards. Obviously, under your arches, you're going to have to power wash it all and get all mud off before you put this on. <laughs> 